This is an alpha level technique designed to relax you and bring you comfortably and controllably to a creative and healthy level of mind. This is a wonderful relaxed state which gives you full and free access to your subconscious and clears the road so you will always have that full and free access to this level of mind throughout your life. This is an alpha technique and it involves you closing your eyes and relaxing free from all distractions. It is not recommended that you attempt this technique while driving or operating any kind of machinery. You should be seated comfortably in a chair where you will not be disturbed for at least 20 or 30 minutes. To begin, I would like you to take 10 slow connected breaths. As you begin to relax, I would like you to visualize. Imagine yourself in a boat. It is a wooden boat and it is on a lake, bobbing gently as the waves in the water lap gently against the side. Feel the gentle motion of the boat. Hear the sound of the waves lapping against the side of the boat. The air smells fresh and clean. You notice the light of the sun glittering on the water and you see the trees and grass on the shore nearby. Perhaps you see a few animals, small creatures foraging in the undergrowth. Pay them no attention for now, but enjoy the sounds they make, the joyful sound of life going on, the peace and tranquility of this place. You take all this in as you take the oar of the boat in your hands and begin paddling into the center of the lake. You can feel the seat you are sitting on and the deck of the boat beneath your feet. As you paddle, you get into a rhythm, a slow, steady beat of the paddle, like the beating of your heart or your breathing. It's all in the flow, your flow, your rhythm. You feel at one with the boat and its movement through the water. You put your energy into effortless paddling and glide with enormous satisfaction across the smooth surface of the water, leaving a gentle wake of ripples behind you. As you move across the surface of the lake, you are aware of a small island in the center of it, and it seems natural that you should begin to move towards it, so you gently alter your course to take you there. It's no effort. There is no strain. It's as if you have been doing this every day of your life and you are merely releasing the energy inside you in a controlled and easy way. As you draw closer to the island, you notice among the trees and bushes on the banks there is a building. Notice the design. Does it seem meaningful to you? The design of the building and its place on the island seem entirely fitting to you and you accept them. They please you and you smile in anticipation of discovering more about it. As you draw closer to the island you begin looking for a place to land and you see a jetty, a long wooden platform projecting out into the water the perfect place to arrive, as if you are expected. You are expected, you are a guest, and you are invited to explore here. It's the right place and the right time. You slow your paddling and align yourself with the jetty, preparing to bring yourself alongside. You slow down and dock onto the side of the jetty and tie a rope around a pole to secure your boat. You tie off both ends of the boat and step out of the water onto the wooden jetty. It creaks under your feet as you walk along it, the water lapping against it and the shore as you walk to the land and follow a delightful winding path towards the building. You smell the leaves and the earth, the gravel crunches underfoot and birds sing in the trees. 
The sun is warm and shines through the branches of the trees as you walk. You arrive at the building. The design is unusual but pleasing to your eyes. You look up at the roof, high in the trees, and follow the sides of the structure down to the ground. It seems to have been here a long time. It seems to have always been here. It fits perfectly into its location. At the top of a couple of short steps on the front of the building, is a door. It looks heavy, but when you pull the handle it opens easily and you walk inside. Once inside, you are in what seems to be some kind of temple or place of worship or quiet contemplation. A sense of peace and relaxation wash over you and you relax more deeply. The room is lit by lanterns and the light is warm and comforting. At the side of the room is a staircase leading downwards. You walk towards the top of the stairs and look down. Below you are ten broad and shallow steps leading down to a lower level. The light at the bottom of the stairs is somewhat more golden and seems inviting. You have a sense that there is something wonderful down there. Notice the design on the carpet. Notice the scent of the incense and the glow of the candles. Notice the feel of the wooden banister under your hand. Now, in a moment, as you descend the stairs one by one, I want you to feel yourself going deeper, into a more relaxed and deeper state than before. You are going to go down to a deeper, more relaxed, more healthy alpha state of mind. With each step, feel yourself going deeper and deeper. Okay, you can start now. Take the first step. One. Two, going deeper, three, four, deeper still, five, six, seven, deeper and deeper, eight, nine, standing at the bottom of the stairs. You are now at your deepest level, a more healthy alpha state of mind. You are in a room. Around the walls are hundreds and hundreds of tiny drawers. You look in one or two of them, but the contents don't mean much to you. They seem random. Some are familiar and yet intriguingly forgotten. You realise the meanings will become clear and forget about the drawers for now. In the centre of the room is a large, comfortable chair and take a seat and sit comfortably in the chair, closing our eyes and relaxing. You begin to relax your body, starting from the top of your head and feel the skin of your scalp relaxing and releasing all tension. You relax your face and your neck, your shoulders now. Raise them slightly and drop them, relaxing them and releasing all tension. Breathe deeply and concentrate on your breathing for a moment. You breathe easily and calmly, your chest rises and falls, relaxing and releasing all tension. Your body, your waist and your hips are relaxed and release all tension. Your legs feel slightly heavy but relaxed and at rest. Your feet rest comfortably on the floor. You are completely and totally relaxed. 
concentrate on your breathing again, the relax in and out of your breathing, the rise and fall of your chest. Relax. Repeat mentally. I am feeling relaxed. I am in control at all times. I am safe, secure and focused. You are now in a deeper, more healthy and relaxed alpha state of mind where you can concentrate more fully on one subject. At this time, concentrate on my words. As you relax, think about your creativity. I wonder if you realize yet that the first stage in developing creative genius is desire. If you were to imagine yourself being more creative, would you have the ability to focus on a desire, turning it over in your mind until the desire turns into an idea? You should remember that desire for ideas is like bait for a fish, and that as with fishing, you should wait patiently, concentrating on the outcome, and not prejudge which kind of fish swims your way. You might find yourself practicing your sense of trust in your ability, your process of getting from a desire to an idea in a state of relaxed awareness, to the point where you know your subconscious holds all the ideas you will ever need. What's it like when you resist the lure of open-ended research and focus on your ideas? Most people can, you know, be a creator and not merely a consumer. Will you recognize that desire is your intent for your projects now? Or will you come to realize that later? It's up to you. And how will you confirm for yourself that getting ideas is not the end of the process, but the beginning? Will you know that ideas are a fragment or a brick you use to build something now? Or will you know that for sure later? You could consider ideas to be holographic, containing all other ideas inside, and allowing you to decode the meaning of subsequent ideas, couldn't you? Remember how it feels to have ideas, and program that feeling into your mind, so you can inhabit that feeling whenever you need ideas. What would it be like if you let your ideas free without judgment or forcing the issue? Doing this means that you reveal your truth and don't pry it out by force. You may notice when you do this, you use your inspirations, your influences, to free up and filter your ideas and make them your own. You don't have to do this right away, but as you know, doing so will help you trust your instincts about what your subconscious is trying to tell you. A person can, you know, be a stimulated person and you can easily control the amount of input you accept in a day and seek peaceful times when creativity can flow. Notice how you can tune into your senses and enjoy the world around you. Just pretend for a moment that you remember to write down all your ideas and keep them safe. Because you can do this, the ideas multiply and achieve the proper weight for work. As soon as you disengage the conscious control over your mind and let the ideas flow, you can be creative and use your mind the way it was made to be used. How do you know when you're using your creativity like a singer uses his voice? It's true that a singer lets his voice out. It's true a singer trains herself to know the feeling of producing a clear sound. And it's true you will now be able to allow your voice, your creativity, out without strain or force. It's not necessary that you try to strain to do this. You just program the feeling of creativity flowing and know when this is happening so that you can then modulate and mold the flow into your own shape. It's a good thing you trust that this can happen and that you can make whatever you want from your limitless ideas. Every time you engage the flow of your creativity 
with this relaxed awareness, you gain trust that your control over the process is calm, relaxed and open to the direction your mind wishes to go, authentically you. I know, you're wondering, how can you know if you're in flow? Allow yourself to experience the feeling of being in flow and out of flow and know the difference. You really shouldn't try to convince yourself that flow is a state of relaxed awareness because you already know this to be true. When you find yourself understanding this and programming it deep into your mind, imagine what it will feel like to have such delicate, conscious control over your state of mind when you are creating. There's no need to trust your subconscious to supply the details until it becomes so easy to do so that you barely notice it happening. As you become aware of going with your instincts in this way, you realize with every second of every hour of every day, you are becoming more fluent, flexible, original and elaborate in every way. As you continue to relax at this time, I would like you to start to become aware of your breathing. I wonder how much attention you've been paying to any thoughts that have passed through your mind in the last few minutes. You may become aware of how little you remember, how difficult it is to remember what I was saying nine minutes ago, or what you were thinking six minutes ago, or what I was saying thirteen minutes ago. It doesn't matter, because you might be aware that it's too difficult to remember. In fact, you might decide it's too much effort. You might choose to remember to forget, or choose to forget to remember, but the choice is entirely yours. Now as you relax, and you are aware of your breathing, start to think of coming back up. In a few moments I'll be counting to three, and asking you to come back up, and when I do, you will be feeling comfortable, and relaxed, and fully refreshed. You will feel as though you've had a refreshing nap. Before you come back up, you should understand that your subconscious mind will act on every word I've said, and each time you listen to this recording, these suggestions will become stronger and stronger in your mind. Each and every time you listen to this recording, these suggestions will become more and more a part of you, and you'll become more and more a person of your own choosing, a relaxed, calm, confident, peaceful person who is able to create effortlessly. Okay, time to come back up. I will now count to three. One, beginning to come up, feeling very good, filled with energy, rested, feeling as though you've had a peaceful nap. Two, coming up even more now, beginning to stir and you are totally at ease. And at the count of the next number you will be completely awake. Three, eyes open, relaxed, refreshed and feeling wonderful. Good. I hope you've enjoyed this alpha technique and by all means use it as many times as you like to reinforce and strengthen your creative mind.